Hi everyone. Today uh, we are going to try this. Um, this is a desoldering station, and here is the the gun. So there is a a pour trigger, but it does the job. And uh, there is a hole at the tip, at the end of uh, the gun. I believe it is a 90 watt gun. Uh, heater and um, I'm going to turn it on so I don't know what was the first message whatever so this is a SS 331 and uh, the, 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 the hole at the, the end of it is needed to desolder components so in this example we are going to desolder condensator condens do we say condensator? capacitors sorry yep. they are in pretty bad shape and I already try Desoldering one, and I thought that it was so easy that I needed to show you. So, why not make a comparison around the same temperature and what we can do with this? So, this is a pump. the light doesn't mean anything and how you control it you press up you press down it goes down and that's it okay so I did already put some uh, some uh, some uh, metal, some And this one has uh, flux incorporated. All right, so it's easier to remove. So what I'm going to do is melt the solder, and then. pump it all right so here to this one you have no flux so let's see heat it well because this is the the worst the worst side and as you can see it doesn't work for the second pin the first one was good so we will try later with more heat and I believe that's it let's go to the next one so this one has already melted solder to it All right. maybe it doesn't work all the time But the first one was really easy to remove. It was quite impressive. What I'm going to do is try. Okay. Add up a little bit more. 
flux. And try with the desoldering. I don't know how to call it. Okay. 470. Should be enough. Degrees. Alright. I don't know if we see, if we can see. Okay. So you can see it is not the same job, it is way more difficult to do it like this. Okay, and it doesn't work all the time. See? I don't have the skills for it. Maybe 470 isn't enough with my other with my uh, iron. So let's try that that one. That is really impressive. I didn't need it to do any effort so I'm going to try full power okay 480 uh, yeah, 80 so as you can see the tip is really hot. Four hundred and eighty. Let's try. So this is the the more the harder side. Yeah, first one I did fell. But as you can see, it is very impressive. So, no flux right here, right there. Full power. Oh yeah. Wait. Let's melt it again. No, it didn't melt enough. Okay. No, it doesn't come right away. Yeah, that one was more difficult. 
Yeah, okay. So we end up we end up we ended up doing it anyway. That's nice. So let's try. I want to try desoldering with the uh, this one more time with full power uh, with my uh, Chinese iron again Chinese stuff you know so again easy side My iron isn't hot enough. I'm at 480, but it it isn't enough. So, yeah, that is way harder. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try both iron with hot air. So that's a janky ass solution, but we are we are going to try it anyway. Okay, full. I'm not hundred percent fan speed. Yeah you are not going to do the same job it doesn't work it just does not so that that thing is really nice and uh, as you can see it is pretty quick too it does a uh, a bit of noise but we ended up desoldering those quite easily and this is my first try well second try I never done it before so you don't have to be a genius to to desolder it and to to use this gun I'm so glad. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.